Want to win money on sports? With Underdog, you can up to a thousand times your cash just by picking higher or lower on your favorite player's stats. Millions of fans have won billions of dollars on Underdog. Will you be next? Download the Underdog app and sign up to get a free pick with your first cash entry up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash when you deposit. Must be 18 plus, 19 plus in Alabama, Nebraska, 19 plus in Colorado for some games, 21 plus in Massachusetts and Arizona, and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates. Terms apply. Void in Colorado. Concerned with your play? Call 1 800 Gambler or visit www.ncpgambling.org. Arizona 1 800 Next Step, 1 800 639 8783, or text Next Step to 53342 New York. Call the 24 7 Hope Line at 1 877 8 Hope NY or text Hope NY 467 369. Hashtag no music, no intro. Saints Block Party Podcast coming at you again. Monday night, it has been a day for SBP. If you're watching this on YouTube, (laughs) like, make sure you are subscribed. Earlier this morning, if you haven't checked it out, please check out our rapid reaction to the firing of Dennis Allen that came down literally like the moment it happened. We recorded, we we dropped everything Everything. to make sure that y'all got that episode ryan was at work i was about to leave for work but we had to get it out um and now you know we're gonna preview the falcons game because if you know you know uh we have our saints block party podcast meetup uh my schedule is completely completely crazy this week so this is really the only day that we have to do the preview pod for the falcons game so we're going to talk about the Falcons game, the Falcon game in some aspects, but also this episode is also going to be reflecting and kind of having aftermath after the Dennis Allen, Dennis Allen firing, what more we've heard throughout today. And here's the funny thing, bro. If you've been listening to this podcast for the last two plus years, the aftermath is basically everything we have been talking about on this fucking podcast for years, for years. Ain't it crazy? Ain't it crazy, <laughs> ain't it crazy bro? Uh oh, dang! He said we should be. Uh, I got no chills. Said we should be popping bottles tonight. Yeah, I was gonna grab a cut water, but I. I it, nigga, we, nigga we, I'm we, popping coffee, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had had some before I I, we, I came up and record this. I want to give uh, so just a side. I want to give some love to. I don't even want to say source because that that feels like it diminishes who they are as a person. Just the the my friend who has told me information about this team that I have then told to our community and the people who listen to us. And they actually sent a text message today that was like, can can the people that was just been shitting on your podcast and saying that you guys don't know what you're talking about, all this, like the the whole DA, all, all all the things that have been said over the years, can, can, can people now just shut the hell up and give, no. Us credit, give them credit. It's not gonna happen. I know. I know mm-hmm. how the game. No. It's not gonna happen. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Um, but I want to go back to last season against the Falcons game, victory formation. At that point, like a huge, huge, huge one of our biggest podcasts we had ever done up to that point. And it was so interesting hearing James Hurst hashtag put him in the hers, hashtag reliable dick, go out and talk about literally what you said word for word on that recap pod of the eighth on the team under the bus. And like, you, you can't do that as a head coach, bro. You can't do it. You can't, bro. And it, it was such like a, just a visceral reaction, just immediately finding out on the pod what happened. And it's like, of course you can't. And just the fact that DA, somebody like DA doesn't get it, just doesn't get it. It's like... Mickey Loomis look, doesn't get it either. No, no, no. And we we going to talk about Mickey. We're going to talk about Mickey. But, uh, you know, I guess this is like a post-mortem, a post-mortem because, you know, it's like DA is done. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that book is closed. The Dennis Allen tenure of running the New Orleans Saints is closed for good. So it's just feeling like a post-mortem where, like today, I've just been going back, looking at some old podcast episodes. <laughs> uh, you know, just, just seeing what we were saying back then, you know what I'm saying? Like what we, it, it's kind of good. To, like like the first real, like, DA must go episode was like the Steelers game in 2022. 
I heard forgot that. about that. Losing to Kenny Pickett and, and Matt Kenny Pickett. And, Canada, and Matt Canada, nigga. Bro, I had to go and find a highlight for that game. I'm like, I do not remember this game at all. Like, I just, just <laughs> it just completely left my mind. And it just goes to show how long it's been, bro. Like, we, Jesus, like, we, they stuck with this man way too long, bro. Way too long. And I think last year after that Falcons game, after that whole victory formation, that was the prime opportunity right there for Mickey Loomis to tuck his tail, admit you made a mistake, and move on from Dennis Allen. But he decided to cash back in, put his chips back in the middle of the table, and say he's going to ride or die with his dude D. And now it seemed like he really ready to ride or die after putting that little statement out. Which can, was, you read, uh, can you read some of it, bro? Because our, our dude, we, we was on NFL Daily. Uh, if you uh, Check it out. NFL Daily with Greg Rosenthal. We had we had we talked to Greg for about twenty minutes earlier today. When I tell y'all guys, we have been working today, and it's, I, I want to be clear with this: we enjoy it. Like th- today <sighs> will be a day <laughs> in infamy in the best of ways. Please believe that. But Greg and Greg Rose, Greg Rosenthal read that Mickey Loomis statement, and I had I had been so busy with just life, work, things not tied to the podcast that I haven't even had a chance to read it. And he read it. I was like, Oh my God, there is so much fraction and Bro. shit going on on airline right now. When I saw that statement earlier, I was like, what a defiant statement. Defiant, like, right? like, like Greg, like Greg said, like, like listen to that. You like, is he talking about somebody that got fired? Let me read it to you right here. Okay. Like, D.A. is an excellent football coach, oh. the, Saints executive, the Saints executive vice president said, Mickey Loomis. This season, we have had an avalanche of injuries. Oh. It took its toll. D.A. has never offered excuses. He fought each day for this organization and this team, and that is what makes today disappointing. Dennis Allen has been an integral part of this organization's success for the better part of 20 years. He will be missed. <laughs> You you really you really going out with your dog, huh, Mickey? I, I respect it. I kind of respect it. I kind of respect it. It's stupid, but I respect it. <laughs> the first thing he talked about was the injuries. The first thing, like, and, and I guess we can, like everyone kept saying, "Oh, the, you know, the, the the Raiders were a bad organization. The cap situation, it was blah 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 blah." This man is twenty six and fifty three as a head coach in the NFL. Can we can we can we can we can we can we talk about that? Can we can we you lead with that? Can we lead so, with that? So he's just the, happened to be the most unlucky mm. head coach in history to have fifty three games. Well, he's just unlucky, just, just <laughs> unlucky, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Just just a rash of unluck, man. Just happened to be one of the worst coaches in history. Like one of the bottom three. <laughs> Greg said. Greg said, out of the qualifiers. 147th out of 149. Get this. Get out. We, we, we changing. We changing focus. We, we, we are Skynet. We are Skynet. We, we changing from DA and we aiming that shit right at Mickey Loomis. And here's the crazy thing. Gail Bits and I already got those, got that, got that scope on Mickey, bro. It's just strong. <laughs> she got the scope on. <laughs> Cause Eat. I, I can report, like I said on NFL Daily, the same way Gail was canvassing information. I want to give a shout out to TC four nine nine Super Chat. Said, just want to salute you, fellas. Keep up the salute great work. You. Oh, and the DA era is over. Gone, buddy. Uh, Mark just said Tampa just tied Kansas City with twenty seconds left. Thank you, for Mark. I was I was wondering how that game was going to end. Um, Black Toll said Mickey got this got that scope on Gail. I don't know if you know how. That's not how that works at all. That is that would not be how that works. Um, got some emails or something. Uh, like like if, if that's the if, if that's the case, then then Mickey or something then Gail is Denzel Washington with the equalizer gift. Bro, just t- t- turn the turn the gun back. <laughs> but just as Gail was canvassing information on Dennis Allen from the players, from personnel the last two weeks, I heard she's been doing the same thing about Mickey Loomis. She wanted, she really want to know how Mickey Loomis been moving. Not by what he's telling her, 
but by right. what others are telling her. You only do that, and I oh, listen, bro. I, I I work in a field where you have we have to verify and double verify everything. Not just be, not because we don't trust who it's coming from, but when our job is dealing with kids' lives, we just got to make sure of it's true. I'm not comparing the situations, but if for three plus years under the DA regime and Mickey Loomis and Mickey Loomis has been telling Gail this information and the product don't seem to be matching what you're telling me. Like you're telling me we're a good team, right? We tell me we could p- compete and get the NFC South and make the playoffs. And every time I watch a game, we don't look like we even close. Then at some point, every like time. I'm not, I'm not going to believe what you're telling me. Every time, every time she's sitting in the, in the suites with the punk ass male Louisiana. I mean, Governor of Louisiana in in Kansas City, watching the Saints lose embarrassingly. Then your team gets blown out mm. by the Tampa Bay Bucks in a dome. Then the week after that, you got a big you know Hall of Dark Fame pe- Hall of Fame you know uh, ceremony for Drew Brees, Sean Payton coming back to the dome, and you just get embarrassed on national TV. Molly Wapped. Molly Wap, go to the West Coast, take a L. <laughs> I was there. Oh my God. <laughs> and then, okay, your your starting quarterback coming back. Your your offensive <laughs> line is a little healthy. Hey, well, let's let's just get back. Let's just get back on track. Let's get back on track. Back to start back to base. Start stacking some wins. Just go out and get a win. And you Stop. lose to the Carolina Mother Oops. Panthers. He was a he was a seven and a half point favorite on the road, and you lose by one Dave point. Gave Bryce Young his first victory formation. See how it all come together? It's just just a full circle, Ryan. Victory formation, baby. Bryce Young's so, first seven straight. So you like you can't so you can't tell me Gail watching that. I it, like I told, like I said on the on the Greg podcast. Y'all just tune in tomorrow when it when it's up. It is just refreshing to see that she is checked in. Like she yes. is, because it was a question. It was like, is she paying attention? Is she? Yes, she's paying attention. Yes, she's watching. Yes, she she moved slowly. She was patient. She was letting the football guys run the football team, but it, she let it get to a certain point. No she more. Said, enough is enough. So the, enough. Crazy, the crazy thing is, she was at that precipice. Very closely for that jag that Jaguars mm-hmm. game, Monday Night Football, I no, Thursday night, Thursday, Thursday Night Football, and they had that fake comeback. And see, this is this is the this is what's drastically different this season than last season. There have not been any fake comebacks, bro. Like last right. year, they got they got saved by them fake comebacks, <laughs> and oh, they they look like they, it happened against the Jags, it happened against the Rams, it happened against the Lions. This season, it's just been straight. No KY, you just taking it. It ain't even remotely close. And I, it is so refreshing to know that she sees, not only that she sees, but she's also hearing from the players and the people on the team. You talked, you said this, the, the players had Rizzy shirts. How they have, bro, it's, it's Monday. DA got fired today, nigga. How they got Rizzy shirts already? What does that tell you how the culture was in the locker room, bro? Makes you wonder, bro. They had they had a Nola hat plug probably printed them up two weeks ago. <laughs> Shout out to Nola hat plug. Oh, well, we about, we about to t- touch base with you doing some doing some business. Um, our dude Luke. I don't know if I want to talk to Luke. It's the election day tomorrow. But um, our dude Luke said uh, Gail had baby Gail had the pistol like like hiding in her desk when she, when she called Mickey in the office. <laughs> um, oh boy. But you know what's crazy though? We we talked about this all this off season, bro. Like this schedule is so different from last different, year, bro. They got they got inflated. That that, that that win total was so inflated last year. It's funny because last year we were kind of like let's look beyond the results because that schedule was so inflated, and we knew this year was a real test. And look, yes, the injuries do matter. They do matter to a certain extent. But even with the injured team, when you have like good coaching, good quality coaching, and good leadership, you could see it. You and can Campbell. see, like, man, like, damn, they losing, but man, they, they're fighting their they ass close. off, bro. Like, they, <laughs> yep. they close. They, man, if they just get this and that, 
You could see it. Like you can actually you, see it. You wanna you wanna hear something funny? That's exactly how the Broncos were last year, bro. Were they not? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And even, you know, somewhat this year, because you know they limited that quarterback a little bit, but you could see that they're building something. Right. It's like, okay, if they add this, if they add that, if they get a little better quarterback play, if they get another wide receiver, you see it. With the Saints, you look at it, it's like, bro, like how do you even fix this? Like it's just like I need everything like you every everything uh dante say y'all glowing there's a, a a vibrancy in y'all's voices the da effect is real but well, we just just stepping different bro but almost almost said a step in the name but i can't can't can't, can't say that no can't, 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 can't do that no um <laughs> Don't let that shit play at a wedding after party or or or, or reception man. though, because I'm gonna be on the dance floor stepping the whole night. Oh, oh, oh. Trust me, not one person gonna protest in that month. They gonna be None. step, 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 step. <laughs> About to get a big fucking cast on this bitch. Um. Anyhow, you you talked about you talked about it looks different. Um. I can report this, and I don't feel like like the names seem like they're obvious names. I've been told the names right now at the top of the Saints wish list in terms of the head coach vacancy: Ben Johnson, uh, Aaron Glenn, Mike Grable, and then they really are going to give you know Darren Rizzi these eight games to, to see, right? Because I think he's very well respected and thought, how, yeah. highly thought of um, in the organization. Yeah. Um, and I, I just like to hear. I like to hear the big. I, I want to hear that they won't ban Johnson. Are they going to get the Johnson? Probably not. But nah. just the fact that they're interested in him, I like. I like to hear that. It's it'd be funny. We're, we're not going to have a whole conversation about like head coaching like that. There, there's there's and this is but Talk this is this is just foreign territory for us. Like right, right. We. We've been a Saint. Wait, I'm just speaking. You had we had Sean Payton as fans for like two seasons, two sorry, two two decades, and then Dennis Allen was a coach for two and a half years. It's just it's it's it they it's just foreign. It's foreign to us in terms of talking about this, how it's all going to play out. So it's 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 just new completely yeah, because something new, happened. Man, I, it's new. I was in my you know. Younger twenties last time we searched for a head coach. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just, I mean, because the DA search don't count. That was a shame. No, we knew that was a shame. No, but like since a re- like a real search, it's in my young twenties, bro. I was like, man, go get somebody. I don't care who. Niggas in niggas in his forties right now. Just oh, forty, bro. So now I'm like, how are they going to do this? Like, how oh. are they going to do? It? Who's going to be making the decision? You know. That's a huge question. Huge That's question. The number one question. Because I know I still know that Mickey is overseeing the potential trading of players who might be traded, who not gonna get traded for tomorrow. And like at this point, I said this about DA. I want a DA out the building just to get his loser culture out the building. I honestly feel the same thing about Mickey, bro. Like I don't mm-hmm. I, I want him gone. If you got to promote him to this fancy ass title where he gets a little pay bump and he don't got to touch football related boy, things, boy, uh, Greg Rosenthal said Mickey Loomis record without Sean Payton and Breeze. I was like, ooh, that's some da ish. That's a da ish type record. <laughs> Forty Oof. something and sixty. It was, it was nasty. I'm just saying, bro. Two hundred wins. Listen, and look, man. Like you talked about it, the dysfunction. You could feel the dysfunction coming out ooh. right now. You, the Funny. fact that you had Tyron Matthew and Foster Moreau start the press of the day after your head coach got fired. Nigga, nobody you're the GM. The... Where, where are no you? No GM. Where, where, where Dennis L- L- Lucia? This nigga could come out and talk about why we can't have practices and have fans in California, but when you fire your head coach, no one can say some shit to the, to the media? Okay. Couldn't okay. he, could he get Kai out there? Get Kai out there, somebody. <laughs> Okay. All right. Nothing. So that tells you there's dysfunction. That tells you right there. You can't say that you 
carry yourself in the lines of of the Steelers and blah 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 blah. Because I goddamn know if the Steelers make were to make a move like this, I bet you the owner of the Steelers is going to be the person sitting in front of the media answering questions. You can say whatever you want to say about John Mara. Anytime he's fired a coach for the Giants, he is right there telling the telling the Giants media why he made that decision. No, nobody, nobody. You you had. Darren Rizzi and Foster Moreau addressed the team. Like Mickey Loomis went. Foster Mickey, Moreau <laughs> this couldn't even get like couldn't even get like a Cam Jordan or somebody that's like the, the like the spokesperson for the team. <laughs> I, 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 I know, I know. It last month was crucial catch month, but like, Kim, what, what are we? <laughs> you telling me that Mickey Loomis came down and talked to the team after victory formation against the Falcons last season? Get, pick, sticking his nose in the business and talking about cultural tweaks and blah, 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 blah. But when the head coach that you picked out is fired, oh, mom's the word? Foster Moreau right. found out D.A. got fired from the yoga instructor. <laughs> he's he's like, girl, D.A. just got fired. Like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, boy, boy, boy. That's why... I- that's some issues on your line, bro. That's some issues over there. It's the most. It's the most New Orleans thing ever, though. Like, ain't, oh, it, the, ain't the most Saints thing ever. 100%. Um, so going into this game, everyone's unserious. An unserious organization. Yes, Marka, unserious organization. I will give Grail. I'll give Grail this. It took balls to do what she did, and it, it, I won't say it took balls because it was the right thing to do. But the fact that she did it, I like. It's like. Like Thanos said, like you, you, you've earned my, res- you've earned my respect. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right, you earned my respect. Straight up. Um, going into this game, we're going to kind of keep this one short. We, we, it's a, it's a big day. We've, yeah, <sighs> a little run down. Going into this Falcons game, Kirk Cousins is playing like a top five quarterback. Got Darnell Mooney. We don't know if Drake London is going to play. The run game for the Falcons have, has been a thorn in the Saints' side, especially these last two seasons with Bajan Robinson and Tyler um, Igeyer. Um How how like how does this team in the meetup? We'll be there. We'll be in the dome, in the building, bro. I know. I know when they announce interim Saints head coach Darren Rizzy Go blow, we gonna blow the roof off that bitch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luke said Mahomes is dog walking the Bucks defense because he's fucking Patrick yeah. Mahomes. That's what, it, that's what he does, bro. With a, with a bum ankle or something. With a bum ankle. It's just, you, you'll, we'll, it'll be a long time before we'll see a player like bro, him. It just, it just pissed me off, bro. Duke Hopkins just catch a touchdown. I'm like, NFL just be helping the Chiefs, bro. Just, like, just helping, bro. <laughs> and, 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 and we might trade them Marshawn tomorrow? Okay. It's like okay, just keep keep helping them, man. It, it's crazy. <laughs> I want to get to this. We'll, we'll get to this point. Uh, talk about the Falcons game. Jay Sean said, and this is the thing. I was thought I when I was listening to the, the Rizzy presser, I was going to say the Saints going to win, but then I remember that Joe Woods is taking over our defense. <laughs> I was like, <"Ugh."> ew. <laughs> <sighs> I haven't heard from Derek Carr. Did, did, did like Derek Carr tweet anything? Did he post anything on IG? Anything? I, I, I don't know, bro. He's 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 blocked bro, on all, all our social. Media. I just, I can't I just can't get over Dennis Allen getting fired with the same starting quarterback twice, twice. That's like first that's time like, in history. That's like getting married, getting a divorce, thinking it's gonna work out again. Say hey hey babe, we can work this out. Getting remarried and then be like oh. This thing, oh, I guess I was a dummy the first time and the second time. Like, <laughs> and I want to, I want to talk about how something that stood out to me. Listen to Darren Rizzi when the the media was asking about looking at it may have been triplet asking about evaluating young quarterbacks later in the se- like later in the season. It was, it was a great question because I was wondering if they were gonna if someone was gonna ask it. Rattler, Hayner, whoever, seeing what you have, you know, at the future. And Darren Rizzi said, "I, you know, I can safely say there be no changes. Derek Carr will be the starter, starting quarterback for the, sorry, starting quarterback for the Saints on Sunday." 
on Very Sunday. Interesting. Very interesting. Because he could have even said, "Look, Derek Carr's our starter. You know, and we're gonna we're gonna try to win these games, and you know, we we still focus on winning." He could have easily said that, but just for the fact that he, you know, couched it like mm. that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. How 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 do the Saints get the upset? And beat the Falcons. Because I, I can think of a lot of ways why it's going to be difficult. The pass rush has been completely ass. And Kirk Cousins, who's not mobile, if you give him time, he's going to he's gonna pick up your defense. We're recording this on Monday, so we have no idea if kool is going to be back. We don't know if Marshawn Lattimore is going to be on the team. We don't know. We don't know what the secondary is going to look like. Is it is it just going to be the thing where it's like you, we get that interim head coach bump and everyone playing with the – House on fire and just like it, like it's just all going well. I could see, I could see, I could see that that vibe check coming in and and everybody's just got a pep to their step. Look, I think the defense still going to struggle because the defense has struggled all year pretty much. I mean, uh, they didn't, you know, they, they didn't struggle mightily in the first game, but I mean, it did enough. Um, they didn't allow a touchdown. We, yeah. We can't stop the run, uh, mm-hmm. and I don't think that's going to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like they're going to get, they're going to run the ball on us. Uh, we'll see how we're looking at corner uh, once the edge report comes out Wednesday. Uh, I don't know. You know, I saw tweets like, "Man, Marshawn hamstring probably feeling good right now. Good, right? He's going to be on the team. He might, right. We don't know. We don't know. I get, I get traded. Tomorrow. We don't know. I, I think I have a feeling he'll be on the team, but I don't know. Um, Kool Aid got an hamstring, you know. So if the secondary comes back, might have better chances. But like, look, like you said, bro, Kirk, Kirk been dealing, bro. Like Kirk, dealing, Kirk playing like two thousand five quarterback play, man, straight from the pocket, just, <laughs> just, 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 just straight point guard, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Darnell Mooney, bro, he on pace for like twelve hundred yards, bro. Darnell Mooney, like twelve hundred yards, man. To Tulane's finest. Too late, um, finest, baby. I'm just gonna say they're gonna win. I'm, they're gonna win this game. They're gonna win this game. Yeah. Don't no, ask me how. Yeah. I, I don't. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not gonna do. A, I'm not gonna do a break. I'm not gonna do much of a breakdown. I'm not gonna give you the X's and O's. The Saints were gonna win this game because it, it's just start. It's this is the week. This is the week. We DA's out the out the paint today. You're gonna get Donald Trump out the paint tomorrow. <clears throat> We 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 gonna have the meetup, SBP meetup this week and on Sunday, the Saints are gonna win and beat the Falcons. Are they gonna win any other game after after Sunday? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But Sunday they are going they are going to win. That I feel confident about. And if they no don't question. win, you know what? Either way, we win. <laughs> Either way, we win, baby. Like, but. Like Rob said, man, we lost the battle Sunday. We, we we lost the battle Sunday, but we won the war. Like, won the war, bro. Like, like, man, listen, that shit there. What happened today made it all worth it. You know what I'm saying? I must say, they made it all worth it. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting, man. Like that game is gonna be very fascinating to see. You know, the match of emotions and all that stuff. And I want to see what Rizzy got, bro. Like, look, Rizzy is, from what I hear, he's very well respected around the league. You know, yes. uh, as a special teams coach, uh, he's been around for a while, you know. And, look, I mean, I know just from a fan standpoint, we kind of discount special teams a little bit, you know, because it's not the, the premier thing. But his unit been performing, bro. His unit stays performing. It has, and, man. Like, and, like, special team coaches, they're interesting because they coach all types of players. They coach offensive players, defensive players. They got to see the game different. They got to understand – game management very well. Um, so he might bring a different perspective that's interesting. So, like, I'm open to anybody, bro. Like, we'll we'll talk about head coach searches later on, you know, this season or whatever. But I don't have, like, this – like, obviously, like, Ben Johnson would be, like, my number one everybody. favorite. Everybody. But, yeah, it's everybody. And we just don't know, man. Like, you really don't – know who's good and who's not and who's going to perform well, who's going to be a good leader, who's going to be able to build an organization and change a culture and be the CEO. There's so many things that go into the job description of being a head coach, especially for this job. Yes. You know, that it's going to take 
it's going to take some work. Like, 2025 is going to be rough. It's going to be very rough. I don't care who they're coaching. It's going to be a rough season. So, like, it's just going to be interesting, bro. Like, whoever they pick, it's going to be fascinating. It is. It's going to be completely, completely fascinating. Um, I just want to add a little thing on the uh, Marshawn thing. I heard that as of this morning, the Saints had gotten calls from four teams earlier this morning um, of interest in Marshawn. I, I don't know all four, but I think three of them, two of them would, would be Kansas City and Baltimore. I don't know who the other two teams were. Um so it'll be, it's just one of those, we were talking about in the Discord, it's like, you know, the, the Chief, and I, I feel like if if there's a team offering a second, I do think he might, he'll, he'll be traded. But then yeah. if it's the Chiefs or the, or the Ravens offering you that second, like, that's a low, like, that's a low second. Like, that's, that yeah. essentially Pistol is third. A, a third round pick. So it, it wouldn't feel great. Um to, to go from firing DA one day, then the trade in Marshawn. And can we also give credit for Marshawn, bro? Like, the reason he wanted to be traded at going in the last season was that he thought DA was an absolute fucking dumbass and was not using lot of him correctly. Oh, Straight guess up. what? He was right. Straight up, bro. Straight up. He stood on business, man. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, I'm... I, I, I'm I'm open to anything with Marshawn. I would like I would rather him, you know, just to remain. I would rather him at least at least we wait until we see who the next head coach is, mm-hmm. see what he wants mm-hmm. to do. Maybe we can sit lock down corner right here. I would like to have that. You know what I'm right. saying? Like if it's if it's Aaron Glenn, Aaron Glenn come and come in here like, man, he played his, some of his best football with me. Like yeah. I'm not I'm not trading that. Right. Like let the let the next we got time. There's no reason to rush and push him out the door. Just for the trade deadline, you can trade them in April, or if you want to do that, you know what I'm saying. Like you got time, especially if it's like a third, a third round pick or something like that. Like you could, you could work that out later. Um, so there's no rush. Now, if you will, if your goal is to dump salary and your plan is 2025, we are going to eat it. We're going to eat 90 million of dead money and this and that, and you're just ready to get players out of here. I get it. Like go ahead, get what you can. Up the salary, let's eat it, and then figure out good for it. So Got it's whatever me. the plan is, but I don't think like there's so much division in the front office right now. I don't think there's a plan. Like I don't think there is a plan. <laughs> What's the vision? <laughs> What's the vision? We back here again, baby. Uh I wanna I wanna follow up something to to the point that you're talking about trading assets and things like that. Um I do want to get it over to our sponsored underdog fantasy. Take a quick break. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna follow up to your talking about getting assets for players and then we are going to wrap this up at a crazy hectic day it has been for the saints block party podcast uh let's get over to our sponsors underdog fantasy at kroger pharmacy care is making it easy to get vaccinated care is helping you stay protected from flu covid and rsv seasonal vaccines are available seven days a week with evening hours Care is giving you a shot at staying healthy this season. Walk in whenever is best and get multiple vaccines in one visit at your local Kroger Pharmacy. So come and get the protection you need while protecting those around you. Kroger Health, a world of care is in store. Visit Kroger.com slash vaccines for more. Restrictions and exclusions apply. See site for details. Underdog is the best place to cash in on all your takes this football season. Which players are going off? Which ones are cold? Make your entries in just a few taps and turn your sport opinions into real money. Rob receiver hurt? Every dog deserves a second chance. And with Underdog Rescues, you can get your money back and receive a promo if any early injury causes your entry to lose. I love Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is the best place to play champions. So sign up and deposit now using promo code block party to get up to one thousand dollars in bonus cash instantly download the app today and use the code block party to get up to a grand in bonus cash instantly again download the app today and use the code block party to get up to one thousand dollars in bonus cash instantly will Derek Carr throw for over 75 yards higher or lower you decide using underdog fantasy download the app today and use code 
block party to get up to $1,000 in bonus cash instantly. That's code block party to get up to $1,000 in bonus cash instantly. Higher or lower, you make the call on underdog. Must be 18 years or older, 19 or older in Alabama, Nebraska, 19 or older in Colorado for some games, 21 or older in Massachusetts and Arizona, and present in state where underdog fantasy operates. Terms apply. Void in Colorado. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.ncpgambling.org. Arizona, 1-800-NEXT-STEP. That's 1-800-639-8783 or text next step to 53342. In New York, call 24-7 Hope Line at 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope Y to 467-369. We are back. Um, one thing I want to talk to you, talk to you about regarding trading players. Um, ass, assets don't matter if the draft picks suck. Hmm. Let's say that again. Assets, future assets do not matter if you are not drafting the right players. And that is a big reason why the Saints have are in the position that they're in. We, you could look at everything you want to talk about the team, bad self-scouting, blah, blah, blah. Some of the worst things of why this team is are where they are is that 2023 draft class that was led by Mickey Loomis, um, prior bad draft picks, Peyton Turner, all that. And this is why you have – it's like a, it's like the perfect storm of just being terrible, <laughs> just being bad. And um, I get trading players to load, you know, get future assets, unload, unload salary. We got to make sure that the person making these draft selections, uh, Jeff Ireland, whoever it is, they got to get it right. They have to get it right. Please, man. Like y'all bringing in all these GMs, you got. You got uh, Ireland there. You got Ziggler. I think Randy uh, Mueller back. Like, what the, what the fuck? What the how many doing, G- man? How many GMs does it take to fucking screw in a light bulb, nigga, to make one drop? Oh, how many? Jesus, can we get a DE that could pass rush? Damn, you know, like damn, I was uh, wrong. On, I was so wrong on Jared Verse, bro. God damn it, wrong, he, he, he out here looking like a dog, bro. Man, I bl- I, I blame that on the Saints too, bro, because we didn't been burnt so much by these. Plogging pass rushers, bro. We just like, ugh, that look like a Saints DE. Ugh. <laughs> but his, I will say, like, his some of his plays on tape, his effort, bro, like, yeah. it was terrible, bro. It was, it was terrible. Man. It, it he was, was. looking kind of, he was looking kind of Chase Youngish. Like, like the Chase yeah. Young we see play on Sunday, he looked yeah, like exactly. that at times in college. And I didn't, that, didn't finish. You didn't see the finish a lot of times. That was one of my pet peeves with him. Hey, man, like, it's sometimes I, you I, win, sometimes you lose. One one draft take I'm gonna just throw out. I'm just throwing this out there. The only draft take I have this early. Keep Mason Graham the fuck away from my football team. Keep him away. Who's bro. that? Who's that? He's the defensive tackle out of Michigan. Keep him okay. away, bro. He's like All slotted right. to go top five, and he's often mocked to the Saints at like three or whatever. Don't want him on my team. I might be wrong. He might turn out to be a dog and a great. Defensive tackle, keep me away. Keep me away, bro. <laughs> I heard. Jay Sean you, do, not, do not draft this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a dog. Okay. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. <sighs> um. Anyway, let's any, – anything else from today? Anything else from – like, I, I, got, I, have, I won let's, let's, before we close this out. What's your favorite DA memory? What's, what's your what's your favorite DA memory? Like favorite, like how, like it, it, however you want to take that, Ryan. What's your favorite DA memory? Uh, I mean, there's so many. What well, always comes to mind, though, bro? It just it wasn't the it wasn't my most pissed moment, but when when uh when I think think they beat the Giants and he was like, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get any questions about the quarterback today, eh? 
<laughs> boy, boy, if I was, this is why I can't have media credentials, bro. Because I'd have been a, <laughs> like that inmate, like that on him, though, like that inmate that 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 launched out the judge, bro. Like that would have been you. And... <laughs> Ah! Um, hold on, hold on, bro. That that shit. I just I would have gave them hands, bro. Like shut up, bro. Listen, I I'll never forget that. Um, that also was they beat like um I can't even think of the Italian quarterback's name anymore, bro. Like they was oh, all hyped up. All... <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to agree with Mark. Trey Kwan and him beating a Gardner Minshew-led Eagles team and walk, <laughs> walk it in, bro. It got the, had, the, had the smoke, bro. <laughs> that fiction is legendary, bro. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite. It's on my phone. Man. I don't want to search for it. I just want to just go right into it, bro. Uh, those, those are his highlights, bro. Like, them games like that, beating, beating Minshew, beating the Browns in the snow. Um. Uh, Louisiana uh, said Bart Scott coming back. I he did a he did a um workout this morning with the Saints. <laughs> I, think I put that in our Ooh. Discord. Um, we need would, all would of that. We need it. <laughs> would have would bring juice. Like anytime Bart, yeah. Bart, I said Bart Scott. Uh, Boston Scott has played with the Eagles. Like you always saw that he had juice. Um, Luke said keep chopping wood. That was that was. A terrible one. Uh, Richard said, "My favorite DA memory is I told him I am sorry. We don't we don't score points on this team. Get on your knees." What? I'm maybe I miss. <laughs> <laughs> what, Richard? Um, yeah, my my got to be the the tra- the Traquan and it's this just there's just so many, bro. There's just so many so, yeah. like DA moments uh, where I just. Go ahead. Amy Trey Amy Trask was on uh the Rich Eyes and, and you know they were asking her about, you know, DA she mentioned a lot of stuff we had talked about before where, you know, his tenure with the with the with Oakland was, you know, not good, how he, you know, was bad with accountability and he mm. would mm. you know, he, he would would not would not put people in a position to succeed pretty mm. much. Not even just the players, but like staff. Hmm. Um, and she said, like she said, she said, like she gave him like the grace to grow when he took the Saints' job. And but she said, watching the Saints these couple of years, she saw that he hadn't changed. He he was still that same Dennis Allen, and that man, that just says a lot. Like just somebody that has nothing to do with the organization, the Saints organization from afar, just watching, saying that it just verifies, just more verification that you know there was a good decision. Today, good. um, it, that's, that's just crazy. Uh, Louisiana said, "Did y'all see Michael Thomas tag Catherine uh, in the tweet yeah. after to ask Carr how you feel about?" <laughs> <laughs> well, my team been cutting up, bro. Cut up. We we gave him an open invite to hop hop on the show whenever. So anytime, anytime. anytime like... we, we 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 drop we drop everything to to let let that episode happen. Anyway. We we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. It's been a very 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 busy day for us. Um, and but in like in a good way. I don't want to make. I don't want this to come out and seem like we are ungrateful of everything. Uh, Luke said he listened to the podcast y'all did this time two years ago. Y'all had the e- the earliest read on DA. It was all the same shit. Yes, appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Um, also, can 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 that can. can I don't listen to other things podcasts. I don't listen to really any other podcast at all, just because I don't have time. Can can people just pick a lane? Like if y'all if you gonna be in a lane, like I just the uh, I just the flip for uh, it, it, like there there were there were people who were literally were a were da apologist. I, I, make me understand it. Make me understand it is what I always ask. Like make me see what y'all seeing. So I can, can understand you, it. Can you see what I see? <laughs> listen, bro. Lo- Man, lo- lose, losers attract loser, losers, bro. I was listening to Ross Jackson earlier today, and he said he texted like a couple players, you know, their thoughts. Like, you know, they, he has 
the thoughts on DA losing the rock locker room. And one player replied, been lost. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering who that was. I was like, man, probably was Carl Granderson or somebody, bro. <laughs> hey, Carl Granderson on his <laughs> IG put put the picture up, walking walk to work like this, and he got that big Kool-Aid smile up. <laughs> They couldn't stand that nigga, dog. They couldn't stand D.A., bro. As much as you and I and us as fans couldn't stand him, imagine going to work every single day and that's your boss. That's your boss you got to deal with every single day. They told us this, Adam. <clears throat> they told us this. Like, what? <laughs> I just. Well, it's over, it's over, though. It's over. Oh. So, turn it a new leaf. Been done. Been lost. Anyway, <laughs> we... That's it. This is it for at least this part of the week, unless something crazy happens. Oh, man, yeah, they trade. They know. trade Mar. They trade Marshawn tomorrow. Oh like, lord! I feel like that Popeyes lady, bro. Oh, Give anyway. me a break, man. <laughs> we picked the wrong team to be fans of. That's what we wanted, nigga. We- <laughs> that is gone. If if nothing crazy happens, we will be back on. Sunday during the recap pod from where somewhere in New Orleans don't know yet we might have our whole crew with us doing a recap pod that's essentially what I want to do I want to have the whole community behind us um as we do a recap pod I don't know how that would go logistically but I I would love to set that up um it's 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 been it's been a it's been a fun day it's been a very long day but we appreciate y'all we love y'all we have 80 concurrent viewers on on a Monday night 200 views it's been a good day. Continue to enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's been some dark times, and there there may be continued dark times, but at the very least, as of today, there is hope. And that's all you could ask for. There's hope. Hope, man. Unless something crazy happens, we will be back on Sunday recapping the Saints-Falcons game. We love y'all. appreciate y'all. And with that, we are out. Peace. At Kroger Pharmacy, CARE is making it easy to get vaccinated. CARE is helping you stay protected from flu, COVID, and RSV. Seasonal vaccines are available seven days a week with evening hours. CARE is giving you a shot at staying healthy this season. Walk in whenever is best and get multiple vaccines in one visit at your local Kroger Pharmacy. So come and get the protection you need while protecting those around you. Kroger Health, a world of care is in store. Visit Kroger.com slash vaccines for more. Restrictions and exclusions apply. See site for details.